Welcome back to Frost Education, this is Ed. Today I want to talk about OCGN, OCGN. Now, for this one here, I do want to talk about the latest news, technical analysis, institutional interest, short interest, and then move on towards what I think about this one. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. I covered this one multiple times before, my last video is in the description below. Now, first off, this company here has two missions. One. To develop gene therapies to cure blindness disease. Two, to develop a vaccine to save lives from COVID-19. Now, currently, it has a partnership with Baharat Biotech to bring Covaxin into the United States and into Canada. So, currently, this is under Phase Three, a term analysis with 73% or sorry, 78% efficacy, 100% against severe cases. Now, EUA in India for a development partner and US EUA pathway in development with the master file submitted. Now, they do have other pipelines uh, items in there, including modifier gene therapy platform and novel biologic. Now, I'm not going to go through that because I did multiple times before and we don't have much news towards that. But I will go through another thing. Some of the most important milestones. So the key infliction point here is that Covaxin, the vaccine candidate for the U.S. market with potential for significant revenue this year. Now, in terms of ophthalmology, Modifier Gene Therapy Platform has the potential for one product to treat many diseases. Now, Novel Biologic has the potential to treat anti-VEGF uh, cortis... Well, I'm not going to really attempt to spell that or pronounce it. Non-responders. Multiple near and mid-term analysis milestone with plan to initiate four phase one two trials over the next 18 months now some of the features here for ocu gen anti vegf and anti intergen you get to see that the differences between all the different ones uh the big impact into this one here is that the enhanced effectiveness delivery through transferrin for ocu gens ocu 200 in comparison towards the anti-VEGF by uh, other companies like Kodiak and Vax, uh, Novartis and anti-intergens for Allegro and other companies. Now moving on towards some of the news. Some of the press releases including OCUGEN expands Covaxin commercializations rights to include Canada. Now on May 26, 2021. OCU Gen on track to submit emergency use authorization application to US FDA for its COVID-19 vaccine candidate Covaxin. On May 7th, OCU Gen provides business updates and first quarter of 2021 financial results. Now, a bit on towards the Canadian part of the news. So, as previously disclosed on February 2nd, 2021, they entered into an agreement to co-develop, supply, and commercialize with Baharat Biotech International pursuant to which the company obtained an exclusive right and license certain to Baharat's intellectual property rights with the rights to grant sub or sub licenses to develop, manufacture and commercialize Covaxin. Now, an advanced stage who a whole variant inactivated vaccine candidate, that's what Covaxin is, product for prevention of COVID-19 in the United States of America, its territories and possessions. Now, on June 1st, 2021, the company Bharat Biotech entered certain first amendments to co-development supply commercialization agreement pursuant to which the parties agreed to expand original OCHN territory to include the United States and Canada. The amendment is effective as of May 29, 2021 in consideration of the expansion pursuant to the amendment the company paid to Bharat Biotech a non-refundable upfront $15 million immediately upon execution of the amendment. The company further agreed to pay Baharat a milestone payment of $10 million within the first 30 or within the 30 days of the first commercialization sale of Covaxin in Canada. In addition to the payment, under the term of the agreement as amended by the amendment, the parties will share any profit generated from commercialization of Covaxin in the amended OCHN territories with the company retaining 45% of such profit and Baharat receiving the balance of such profit. Now, towards technical analysis, what we get to see is that some companies here are extremely bullish. You get to see in the first weeks of June and the last weeks of May, millions of shares have actually been added for OCGN. And if you were to look into the shares of uh, interest of the short interest flow, 
you're looking into 20.86% going to the short side. Now that might not be massive, but it's still very interesting to see such a massive short interest for this company. Now, if you were to look into the last downgrade back in February, they said from buy to neutral, but they increased the price target from 70 cents all the way to 13 bucks. That is massive. That's more than 14, 15, almost 20 times more uh, the price target multiplied by the 70 cents from thir to 13. Now, in terms of EPS this year, you're looking at an 80% increase on EPS. Next five years, 151, which is positive. Although the price over book is really bad, around 41. Although the price, price over sales is even worse because big time or big part of these pharmas is that they don't have much sales because a lot of it is in research and development under pipelines. But things are starting to look interestingly promising. Now, the market cap here is around $2.08 billion for OCGN. Now, on the institutional buyers, we already said it's bullish. And before moving on towards technical analysis, if you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to drop a like button down below. And the subscribe button is at the bottom right corner. Make sure you click subscribe and turn notifications on. Let's move on now towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis standpoint of view, what you get to see here is that on the one day perspective, that we're seeing a massive reversal towards the MACD. You're seeing that today is actually one of the bullish indicators for this massive reversal the adx doesn't show you much but the billion percent r says hey this one might actually be a little bit overbought now don't get freaked out on this it's just because it's been accumulating for a while and any bullish movement will show overbought now in terms of momentum it's starting to look really bullish on this side as well now from stochastic fast and stochastic slow what you're seeing here is that it says that there might be actually another leg up for this one so keep an eye into this one the Bollinger Bands expect this one to trade at 1021 at the top and 749 at the bottom. Although Fibonacci retracements shows you that current support that was a resistance is sitting at 952, following that 734 and 464. Current resistances 1170, 1481 and 1877. Now from a price line action, you're seeing a very strong resistance at the 1063. You need to be very careful to this point because you need to break it. Above there, the next point to break is 1196. Above there, 1384. And finally, above there, 1583. The current significant supports are 933, 853, going down to 789, 619, going down to 518, and then down to 339, and then 247, and then 212. Following that, 163. Comes to the question to add, what do you think about this one? Well, I have my own reserves into almost any pharma. They burn a lot of cash. They always need to raise money. At the end of the day, investors build, uh, take the bill and pay it up all, right? But in terms of Bohara Biotech, you know, things are starting to look promising. Covaxin is leading the vaccines in, in India. And so a big part of this one comes to the question, well, do you think it's going to actually come in time into Canada and the US? And there is some scenarios. More than half of all uh, people in North America have received at least one dose of whatever vaccine that is approved in that nations or in these nations. And so it comes to the question, well, how, how far can we really go with this one? And I really don't know the answer. I don't know. Perhaps we just find out that Pfizer and Moderna and all these stuff are not as effective as we really need thought. And we find that this one is way more effective uh, because it's a different technology. That could be a possibility. We could be by the time that they actually get approved in Canada and the US. We already have vaccines for everyone involved. And, you know, they don't have the enter into a ready saturated market. And another possibility, well, COVID just vanishes away. You, you don't really don't really understand exactly what the hap, what's going to happen in the future. But it seems that a lot of this action in the stock movement is dependent on the Baharad Biotech rather than the pipeline. And I think once it gets approved, it's going to skyrocket. Once we get sales, it's going to also skyrocket. And then right after, tank really hard. That's my opinion onto this one. 
What do you think about the sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I do recommend that you go ahead and join our Discord server. There's a lot of amazing folks in here. Uh, we do a lot of discussions here into the trading floor throughout the day. A lot of people are in there, and we do ask questions. You can ask me uh, any question you would like on there. We do post research and DDs, and we hold weekly uh, chat sessions. And we also do have a lounge in there. So make sure to actually join that and join the fun there. Have a wonderful day and a good one.